Happy Monday, my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Glazed. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we took down Ecruteak City's gym leader, Morty, and we obtained our second badge. In today's episode, we are going to continue out of the city, make our way to the next city, and hopefully obtain our third badge today. Now, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the map, because I know that there are a bunch of different places we can go to. It looks like this one is going to take us to Olivine and Sidewood City, so this is the route I want to take. Once again, thank you guys for your tips and your comments. They're really awesome awesome and they really helped me out make sure you guys give this video a like and let's go ahead and take on our first battle That was a pretty tough battle, actually. So it looks like the Pokemon are still going to be pretty high level continuing on in this route. But I'm excited to get to the gym regardless of that. So let's keep on going. It looks like I'm going to have to battle this guy if I want to. But I don't really want to battle that many trainers. I'd rather get to the gym and focus on that today. So let's go ahead and keep on running around through here. It also looks like we are going to have to use a lot of our items in these battles. Because the Pokemon have got so much stronger. So up there, there isn't much. Down here, there isn't much. To the right. It's going to take us back to town. So it looks like we're going to have to head out to the left. These battles are definitely getting a lot tougher. I'm actually a bit worried to see what the gym's going to be like. It looks like we also found another teleporting site. So it's always good to check in on these just to make sure that we, you know, continue checking off everything that we can. What a surprise to see you here, Rodri. Have you seen Kato at all? I'm a little worried. I haven't heard from him. Are you still going strong with your gym battles? Oh, wow. Two badges. This is what I'd expect from my rival. I can't stand it. We have to battle now. All right, guys, here we go. Rodri versus Shell. So let's go ahead and take on Shell and her Pokemon. Let's see how many Pokemon she's going to throw out at us. She has a full team now. So she has all six Pokemon ready to go. And now this is something that's going to be a bit of a tough one. Hope you guys are enjoying the beginning of your week, though. I know that Mondays can sometimes be a little bit stressful. And they're most likely the toughest days of the week to get through. Because it's once you're getting back into the swing of things. And you're like, ah, you either got to go to school or maybe you have to go to work. And it just feels like like such a struggle sometimes to wake up and to actually push through the day but you know what i've realized is really really good about mondays if you take care of a lot of different things that you need to do later on the week do it do them on mondays and then you'll be so much better off the rest of the week that you'll just feel fantastic and you'll have a good one i think that it's okay to procrastinate things once in a while and to mess around you know i think we all get to the point where we're a little bit lazy and where we just want to lay around watch some tv watch some shows do those sorts of things but if you're a little proactive on a monday it can go a long way that's definitely something that i'm trying to do i should probably pack up my clothes and begin getting ready for my trip back to chicago back home now that i'm pretty much wrapped up up everything that I needed to do here in El Salvador. It's been a really great little vacation. I love coming here. It's a little bit of like an escape for me and I can just come and spend time with my family in this really beautiful tropical place. Except I gotta tell you guys, I'm missing the cold weather quite a bit now because of how hot it's been here recently. I've been burning up. I feel like I'm melting. I feel like my face is always covered in sweat just because the heat here is so, so like strong. It is so hot. And it feels like you're burning up all the time. But it takes a little getting used to. Once you go up a little bit further up into the mountains or climb up the volcano, you know, just go have a little lunch up there. It feels a lot nicer. And that's definitely something that I enjoy doing. I actually went out to lunch with my family yesterday. And we got really close up to the volcano. That's usually where they have a bunch of restaurants. And we went up there and it was so nice and so breezy. And I actually had the chance to see the view. And it was really lovely. So once in a while, it's definitely worth it to go out there and, you know, do something of that sort. And I had a lot of fun with it. It's always great to spend time with your family and I'm, it's definitely something I want to do before I head out of here because you never know when the next time is that you'll get to see them I think that's something that you always got to keep in mind once in a while you'll forget that you're on a bit of a trip I know I definitely do and then I have to snap back into it I'm like whoa I'm not here forever let's make the most of this time I can't sit around and 
play games on my computer all day, even though that's pretty much what I want to do. That is pretty much what I enjoy doing, and I think it's always a lot of fun. We've actually been doing really good against Shell too, guys. So far, so good. I'm surprised that her Pokemon weren't a little bit higher level. I thought they were going to be a little bit closer to ours, because I'm expecting the next gym to be about level 60, about all the Pokemon to be around there. And our Pokemon aren't even that close to catching up to 60, so a couple are a little bit behind. I guess a little bit of training is needed, but I feel like we'll be pretty good going into the gym from all the tips that you guys gave me. I think our team is pretty good right now, so I'm not too worried to that extent. I think we'll be okay. Okay, there we go. Really? You, got, you guys had to paralyze Zuko Jr.? Let's see. Was that last? Okay, there we have it. The Absol is the last of Shell's Pokemon, so let's go ahead and take it down. You know what? We'll just send out RSP. I'm sure RSP will be out-leveling this guy by quite a bit. And then let's go ahead and continue on. I'm excited to get to the next couple towns. I've actually noticed that the direction of the towns we go in, we can pretty much choose the path. So we could have gone to the right, or we could have gone to the left from Critique City. So it's kind of weird that we don't really have a direct path or somewhere to follow. It seems like Johto is just going to be one of those open roads for us, and we're just going to hope that it takes us down the right way. Way, and I'm hoping that we're headed down the right way right now. I believe we are since we did bump into Shell, so I'm not too worried about it. You're still as sharp as ever, aren't you, Rodri? We got 2080 for winning. I'm gonna head to the Evergreen Gym and challenge my brother. I'll probably stop by Olivine along the way. I expect my rival to keep their skills sharp, so keep training. Okay, see you later, Shell. And now we know that it's Evergreen City, which is the gym that Silver has control over, and we will have to keep that one in mind because I think that is going to be one of the most fun gyms. Here, I have a little extra moo, moo milk. Oh, thank you. See, once in a while, you know, once in a while, you some girls treat us nice around here. There we go. You know, Nurse Joy might need to learn a thing or two from that. You know what I'm saying, guys? We might have to go ahead and teach her a thing or two about this, these moo, moo milk people, these people over here. They're so nice. They're so well-mannered. They sell us milk for cheap. It heals your Pokemon a bunch. Make sure you guys buy some of this milk if you guys are going through here as well. It seems like this milk is going to be very, very good later on what's going on here i always had a special connection with mumu ever since she got sick what you have that same spark when you asked that young girl years ago that girl was kind enough to give me seven berries and i got better if you see her tell her i said thank you so what girl could they be talking about that helped her get better i'm actually not sure what she's talking about but it looks like the mill tank was really impacted by a human and that's something that we're gonna have to keep in mind maybe we'll learn more about that as we get going and get closer to the other cities so i don't think there's gonna be much else to do here this bamboo so thick, Cut just won't take it out. I heard that you can hack through this stuff with the move Fury Cutter. Oh, okay, so we're gonna need Fury Cutter in order to make our way through some of these places, and that's actually pretty cool. I guess we'll have to go back and pick up that move and teach it to one of our Pokemon. We don't allow anybody in here. The milk tank of the spend's aggressive. Oh, you have a lot of badges. If you think you can calm her down, I won't say no. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess, there we have it, that if you guys want a milk tank, you can actually head inside of here and catch one. Now, I personally think we're okay without a milk tank for now, as I still want to add a flying type and possibly a dragon type to our team. So for now, I'm just gonna continue going on. I'm gonna head out of here. I don't think there's anything left for us to do here in the Moo Moo Ranch. So let's just continue on, and it looks like, whoa, whoa, I've, I've done it! I'm kind of so, okay, there we have it. We bumped into the Pokemon in the grass. For a second, I thought we were gonna be, you know, off really well off of that and not have to battle any other trainers but it looks like a persians in this grass so a lot of normal types around this area definitely something that we need to keep in mind special trees on the side of the road can be headbutted using the move headbutt that makes a lot of sense with that guys we have made it to olivine city and this is what we've been waiting for i'm really excited for olivine this is going to be a really fun gym so let's go ahead and heal up our pokemon you know nurse joy they say you can attract more bees with honey than with vinegar. You know what I'm saying, Nurse Joy? You know what I'm saying? There'd probably be a couple more people in here than that one guy in the blue hat sitting over there. If you, and, Oh, there was one other person in there. With that, though, guys, it looks like we have officially made it to Olivine City. Also, make sure that you guys get your teleportation devices registered. That's definitely something that you're going to want to do because it's kind of hard to travel around Johto. With that, let's head inside of Olivine's gym. Take on its leader, Jasmine, the steel-clad defense girl. So it looks like it's going to be a steel-type gym, and we're prepared for that. 
Welcome to the All Divine Gym. The gym leader Jasmine uses steel type. They resist almost everything. Do your best. Well, let's go ahead and put Zuko Jr. up in front then because it's going to be steel types. And are you guys ready for this? I'm feeling really good about this one. I think Chompy's also going to come in very, very handy. I think that Zuko Jr. and Chompy are going to be the two to carry this gym. Kind of like Yami did last time. Chompy's been doing a lot lately too. Let's go ahead and get this going then and begin our first battle. Okay, it also looks like there's somebody up ahead, somebody with pink hair. Now, I'm not sure who this is. I actually think I know who it is. I'm actually trying to talk to them, and it's not working, so they might just be standing there trying to watch us battle. Okay, regardless of that, let's continue on. It looks like we have made it to Jasmine, and our Pokemon are ready to go. I'm feeling good about this. I think you guys should be, too. Zuko Jr. and Chompy are both very, very strong. I think we'll have, hopefully, an easy time with this battle. You never know. Let's talk to her. Uh, hello, I'm the gym leader here. My name is Jasmine. I like to train steel types. They're really hard to beat. I promise. Here we go. Rodri versus... Jasmine, let's go ahead and take her and her steel types on then. Leader Jasmine's gonna open up with an Agron. I'm actually pretty glad we started out with Chompy. Let's see what you can do, Chompy. This is your time to shine. I feel like Chompy's been shining quite a bit recently. So it's not like it's the first time Chompy steps up. With that, the Agron has gone down, and that was a very simple takedown. If we can continue to take down Jasmine's Pokemon like this, I think we'll be good. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Zuko Jr., though, and that's pretty much gonna be the main strategy between. Between the, our two Pokemon, just switching them in and out and hoping that we can take down Jasmine. As you guys can see, she has five Pokemon as well, so it is a much tougher gym than what we're used to. The fact that her Pokemon are level 58, I'm gonna go ahead and guess probably close to 60 by the time her main Pokemon comes out. Goes to show, oh my goodness, no! No! Come on, Zuko Jr., you gotta stand up to that! Oh my goodness, are you serious? Zuko Jr., uh, I. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and switch back out to Chompy then. It looks like Zuko Jr. went down. And that is going to make things a little bit more difficult. Because now we might have to revive Zuko Jr. As I was saying though, it goes to show how much stronger these gym leaders have actually got. And how much tougher the Johto region really is. The Metagross, oh no, no. Come on Chompy. You can take out an Earthquake. You can take out an Earthquake. Go! Oh, that was actually very close. I'm going to go for another Surf. And hopefully we can at least get a couple full restores out of Jasmine. I think that'll definitely help us out a little bit. Oh no, this might actually take down Chompy. And there we have it guys, Chompy's gone down. So our main strategy of Zuko and Chompy, that went down the drain really quickly considering this Metagross is an insanely strong Pokemon. So I'm actually going to have to go ahead and revive Chompy. There's really no other way to do this as RSP won't be too effective on these Pokemon. And Jasmine's gonna be sitting here using these full restores. So it's definitely going to be a much tougher battle. Now lately, since I have a lot of traveling coming up, I'm actually flying back home in a few days. As I said to you guys, I've been thinking a lot about, I don't know why I think of these random things. Maybe because I watch so many superhero shows like The Flash. Or maybe because my mind sometimes thinks of really strange things. What the fudge? Alright, well I actually expect that one. That one wasn't a surprise. Let me go ahead and actually switch out then. And we're gonna hope for the best here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope that we can actually land a move on this guy. And we're gonna go for the Hydro Pump. Let's hope that that will take down the Metagross. It should do more than the Surf did. Oh no. Are you serious? He's gonna go ahead and take us down again. Okay, this Metagross is a beast. This guy is actually a beast. As I was saying though, I've been thinking about this probably because I watched Batman vs. Superman and I don't know about you guys, but I actually thought it was decent. I didn't think it was that terrible of a film. I know that a lot of people were critiquing it and were like, oh, it was really dark or it wasn't that funny or those types of things. I actually quite enjoyed the movie. I thought Batman 
was really cool. I thought Superman was already all right. I thought he was all right. I, I you know, the first Superman was okay. I like Batman in it, but I got to tell you guys, Wonder Woman was the bomb. If you guys go and see that movie, Wonder Woman is awesome. I can't wait to see her standalone movie come out because she's fantastic. So that got me thinking about, would I rather teleport or fly around? Because you could teleport like here in Johto from city to city, just teleport wherever you want. Or you could have the power to fly and then you could fly anywhere. Even though it would be a little bit slower, you would still be able to fly to the top of a skyscraper or the top of a mountain or something of that sort if you wanted. But you would have to give the trade off of that it takes a lot longer to get there than teleporting. So I guess it's a 50-50 and I started thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I think I would like to fly. I think flying would be really cool. Ever since I was a kid, I've always had dreams of flying. I used to dream of me being like Goku or someone from Dragon Ball Z, just flying around in my yard. It was one of the weirdest dreams, but I really enjoyed it when I got the chance to do it because it was like you were actually flying. It's one of those dreams where it almost feels realistic and it was something that I've always wanted. How amazing would it be if we could have like jetpacks or Pokemon to fly around on or just something to be able to fly around whenever we want that would be so much fun but i also got to give it to some people teleporting would also be really cool because sometimes the hassle of flying it's quite annoying so it would also make sense to be able to just go directly to somewhere you want and that would also allow you to get closer to your family members or to the people you love or care about those types of things so it makes sense that teleportation would also be a big thing so i guess everybody has a different opinion on that subject it's kind of funny because i was asking a couple of my friends and everybody has a different opinion on it i suppose it depends on the type of person you are and what you want to get out of these superpowers that you would have it's kind of funny actually it's it's good to think about that's what all these superhero shows do to you it gets you thinking about having superpowers and then you realize like oh Wait, I don't have any superpowers. And you're just like, why am I even thinking of this in the first place? And it's just, you know, one of those funny thoughts that you can just think about and discuss and have a little fun with. I think it's always awesome to daydream a little bit. I've always been a bit of a daydreamer myself. So I always, you know, just go ahead and go off on my own and into my own little adventure in my head and just think up these random little adventures and my imagination just kind of goes off from there last but not least though guys there's the steelix here so we should be able to take him down i don't think with zuko jr so i am actually going to have to bring out chompy and see if we oh mother fudger that might actually take me down at least we burn the steelix i guess that's definitely a pro of this if we can go ahead and just burn the steelix a little bit put a little damage on it that's definitely going to help us out with chompy so with that, the Steelix is going to take a little more damage. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and heal up our Chompy. I believe that Chompy is going to be the one who has to close out this fight. It's been a lot of up and downs in this fight. I got to tell you guys, these gyms are actually a lot tougher than I expected them to be. You guys told me a lot too that these gyms were just going to get harder and harder. And I've really been realizing that if your Pokemon are about the same level as the gym leaders, you're going to have a tough time. You might want to train them up a little more than the gyms because it's pretty tough it's actually getting to be a lot more difficult than the donut region already so we're just hoping for the best here with that guys we're gonna go for the hydro pump and we have took down the steelix so very nice ladies and gentlemen we have done it we gained a bunch of xp we defeated leader jasmine you're a very skilled trainer you definitely deserve my badge we got 2400 for winning and with that guys we have obtained a wait Jasmine! Jasmine! What the heck is going on here? Wait, me, what's wrong? I haven't seen you this distraught in a long time. Please, Jasmine, I really need your help. Thugs have invaded Goldenrod City, and I saw smoke coming from Ilex Forest. Right, I'll do what I can to help. Uh, Rodri, would you please come with me? Steel types aren't very good with fire. I mean, if it isn't too much trouble, um, thanks. Please hurry, I'll meet up with you on Route 36. That's the one outside of Violet City. Um, excuse me. Wait, what is going on? Where's my badge? Where is my badge, Jasmine? With that, guys, I wanted to say we obtained our third badge, but we actually didn't because we got interrupted by Whitney. And it looks like 
This guy's like, congrats on your win. We didn't even obtain our badge. Next time, we're going to have to make our way back to Violet City. Help out Jasmine and Whitney with what seems like a problem that is going on in Ilex Forest. As you guys can see, we do only have two badges. So Jasmine actually didn't give it to us. So we are going to have to go after her and help her out. Once again, make sure you guys give this video a like. Thank you guys for your tips and your comments. I guess I'll catch you guys next time when we go for our third badge. Goodbye. <laughs>